Hey, YouTube land. It's time for another tutorial. This time we're going to look at studio lighting in 3ds Max and Arnold. First things first, I want to draw your attention to this website, HDR Haven. It's a great site. Um, all their stuff is completely free. It's all supported by Patreon, so if you like this stuff, then I highly recommend that you subscribe to that. They have a lot, I have to say, of really good um, HDR references. And we're going to use some of their studio lighting references here. And I am going to use, I think it was Studio 5. So I recommend um, just for speed, you can use the 8K. So if you want uh, an extra shiny background, then you can have uh, the 16K. But just in terms of lighting, um, the lighting probably would be fine with 1K, so it's only really if you're interested in looking at the background as well that you really need to go up to 16K. But for our purposes, 8 will be fine. So let's make a Arnold light. So I'm just going to go into the light settings here, choose an Arnold light, and just place it in my scene like this. And then, just for the sake of it, I'm just going to go right click. Select a move and zero the position so I can find it easily later. Then I'm going to go over here and we're going to change the light type to texture because that's going to support our HDR and it's going to be a sky dome. And then, last thing we're over here, we're going to just drop the exposure down to one because um, that will be plenty because our HDR is already um, calibrated. Then we click on that. So we click on our no map thing. We're going to choose a bitmap. And then I'm just going to browse to the HDR Haven. And I'm going to choose this HDR5. Brings up a little preview. Open that. All these default settings are fine. So that's OK. All right then. So. Um, what I need to do is make sure my light is aligned. So I'm going to right click on this. And we want to make sure that our absolute world rotation is zeroed, which it is here. And then, let's see, I'm going to go into my compact material editor. I'm just going to drag the bitmap over there and make sure it's an instance that and then I just want to mess with these values here so we're going to have an environment map and it's going to be a spherical environment map then I can go into my render setup I've already chosen Arnold here and I've got a small HD frame just for demo purposes and let's drop the AAA samples down like six for the moment and we're good to go so let's click render and see what happens so that looks pretty good uh, our background is black though so let's bring in a picture so we can use the sky dome as a background and all we need to do is do light shape visible in the dialog in the Arnold light. So let's re-render that and see what it looks like. So there you go. Well, as you can see, our background is in the wrong place, so let's see if we can sort that out. To do that, we're going to need to switch over to the active shader, and that will allow us to rotate the light and see what's going on. So let's close this. I'm going to change the target renderer to active shade mode and I'm going to make sure that the renderer is set to Arnold like that. and that's all good Arnold renderer is set to standard settings so let's render that so now I've got this little window and as you can see as I rotate the light the window slowly readjusts now it's a little bit slow on this machine that is because of running a screen capture at the same time, which may be a bad idea. OK, 
Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, we've got a screen in the right place now. It's very bright, so I think I might just go and knock the intensity down a little bit further. So let's just halve it to 0.5. Mm, that's a bit more sensible. So we have our studio light set up, we have our screen in the background, but there's something missing which is shadows. So let's discuss how to do that now. So I'm going to turn off the active shader, go back to production rendering. Um, so what we need to do is set up a special material to just catch the shadows and then let all the other light through. So let's create a plane. We go to the top view, drag out a plane for our chair, and it only needs to be big enough just to catch our shadow like that. If I, while I'm here, let's just drop the camera in so we can always get back to where we want to go. So I just tend to use the target cameras. I don't really like the physical cameras for various reasons, which I may go into in, a, in another video. But anyway, the target camera is fine. Just remember to press Shift F for my safe frame. Zoom out a little bit, and that's great. So this surface here is going to need a special material. So I'm going to open the Sleep Material Editor. And we need to find a special armored material, which is called a Map to Material. So this essentially does nothing. It's just a holder for a texture map. So let's find the texture map. And we need a special arm mold texture called Shadow Mat. That's all we need to do. The default settings are fine. Shadow color is black, shadow opacity is one. And it's gonna alpha things where it puts the shadow. And then our diffuse is set to use background color, which means the background will shine through. Speculars off. Everything else is fine. So let's assign that to our plane. So I'm going to just kind of click on surface here and then choose assign material to selection. Great. Close that and then we can render again. So you can see that there's a clip mark just at the back there. So I'm just going to reposition my plane to make sure that works. So let's go up again. Whoops. T for top view. Something like that will be fine, I think. And render. So that looks pretty good. Um, there's one last thing which I want to fix, which is this sort of ugly, messy highlight over here. And I'm just going to blur that out. So we can do that by going back to our material editor. And we've got our texture map here. So I'm just going to adjust the blur offset. I think a value of zero, zero, 004 should do it. So let's try that and click render. So there you have it. That's how to set up studio lighting in 3ds Max with a image-based HDRI. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if you did, then click the subscribe button if you please. I'm trying to get my subscribers up. Uh, and the more people I see on this channel, then uh, the more encouraged I will be to do some more tutorial videos. Hope to see you guys soon.